Easy Yoga for Beginners, a 40-minute full-body gentle flow. Welcome to you, wholesome people! Today, it's all about yoga for anyone that just started out. And even if you never tried yoga and you've been thinking about it, this video is the perfect starting point for you. You can easily follow along, so take a moment for yourself and get ready to calm your mind and body. So grab your mat and water and let's get started with Christina Derigo. Begin by lying flat on your back. Relax your legs completely. Have your hands down next to your sides and turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes and begin to deepen your breathing. Breathing deeply in through your nose and out through your nose as well. Focus your attention on your breath. Notice the pathway of your breathing as it's moving in and out of your body. Notice the rise and fall of your belly as you breathe. Remain here for one more deep inhale and exhale. Gently bring some slight motion back into your limbs, your hands and your feet, your arms and your legs. Bend your right leg and take hold of your shin in both hands. Keep both of your feet flexed and energized. If you're feeling discomfort in your low back, feel free to bend your left leg as well and place the foot flat on the floor. Hold and breathe into your hip, softening your right hip socket and gently stretching the hamstring and the glute on the right side. Release your right leg down onto the ground and then switch sides. Bend your left and hold onto your shin and your hands, breathing into your hip socket keeping your feet active and engaged here and relax in this stretch. Bend your right leg as well and hold on to both legs in your hands. Your feet are still active you can rock from side to side gently if that's comfortable for your low back. If it's uncomfortable, just remain still. Slowly come to stillness and release your hands from your legs. Roll onto the right side of your body and use your hands to help you come up to a hands and knees position. You're on your hands and knees, and your knees are right underneath your hips. Your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Your back is flat. The tops of your feet should remain on the floor, and your shins should remain parallel to one another. We will now move through several cat and cow postures. Take a deep inhale, and look up. Spread your shoulders wide and feel your back arching. Take an exhale through your nose and round your spine in the opposite direction, looking towards your thighs. On your next inhale, you'll repeat your cow pose by looking up and forward, arching your back in the opposite way, and lengthening through your collarbones. Exhale, cat pose. Reach your upper back all the way up towards the ceiling, rounding your spine, and look behind you. We will repeat this six more times. Inhale, cow pose, looking up, spread your shoulders wide. Take a deep exhale through your nose and come back into your cat pose. Reach that upper back all the way up. Inhale deeply through your nose and move through your spine into cow pose. Deeply exhale once again through your nose, working through 
your entire spine to come back into your cat pose. Moving in and out of cat and cow once again. Coordinate your movement and your breath. Exhale deeply and look back towards your spine for a cat pose. Inhale deeply once again and come back into your cow pose. Exhale and articulate through each and every bone in your spine as you curve into cat pose. Inhale and arch into your cow pose once again. Exhale and cat pose looking behind you. Inhale, look up and forward, arching your back. Last cat pose coming up. Exhale and round your spine one more time. Come back to a flat back neutral spine. Touch your big toes together behind you. Keep your knees where they are and sit your hips onto your heels. Relax your torso over your thighs and bring your forehead to the mat, keeping your arms reaching out in front of you for a child's pose. Rest here for a moment. Reach your arms all the way forward. Energetically lift your forearms off the ground. Spread all your fingers wide on the floor. Lift your hips up and bring your shins back to parallel. Tuck your toes and press into the ground with your hands and feet. Straighten your legs, making your way into downward facing dog, which is an upside down V shape if you're unfamiliar. In down dog, pedal your legs. Bend and straighten your legs, alternating right and left, to gently warm up the muscles in the backs of your legs. Keeping the rest of your body nice and stable, gently and slowly pedaling through your legs. Smooth movements here. Press your heel down each time you straighten your leg. Begin to slow your movement down and come to stillness in Downward Facing Dog. Hold down dog and breathe deeply, sending your hips up and back, pressing your heels down towards the floor. Inhale and raise your heels all the way up. Bend your knees generously and look forward between your hands. Step your feet up slowly up to meet your hands at the top of your yoga mat and relax over your legs in a forward bend, bending your knees if you cannot reach the ground with your hands. Take a deep inhale and come all the way up to standing with a flat back. Reach your arms out, around and up and look towards your hands. Exhale and release your hands down by your sides. Stand up tall in Tadasana. On an inhale, spread your shoulders wide. And on an exhale, soften your front ribs. Inhale and rotate your upper arms out and raise them all the way up. Exhale, slightly bend your knees and come back into your forward bend. Bring your hands all the way to the floor and relax your head over completely. Inhale, bring your hands to your shin bones and straighten your arms looking up just halfway, flattening your back. On an exhale, you'll lower yourself back down into your forward bend, bringing your hands back down onto the ground. On your following inhale, you'll come all the way up to standing reaching your arms up and looking towards your hands. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. We'll take that whole thing once more. Inhale, rotate your arms around and raise them all the way up. On your exhale, slightly bend your knees and fold over. Forward fold. 
Inhale, bring your hands to your shin bones. Straighten your spine, looking up for one breath, halfway up. Exhale, bring your hands back down to the floor. Relax your head over. Inhale, through your nose. Come all the way up to standing. Reach your arms up, looking towards your hands. And exhale, release your hands down by your sides. We'll take this sun breath once more. Inhale, rotate your arms around, raise them up. Exhale, bend your knees slightly and forward fold. Hands to the floor, relax your head over. Inhale, bring your hands to your shin bones. Straighten your spine up halfway for one breath. Exhale, lower down. Bring your hands to the floor, relax your head. Inhale, come back all the way to standing with a straight spine, reaching your arms up. And on your exhale, release your hands down by your sides, standing up tall in Tadasana. Inhale for your first sun salutation. Rotate your arms around and raise them up. Exhale, slightly bend your knees. Come to your forward fold. Bring your hands to the floor. Relax your head down and over. On your next inhale, bring your hands to your shins. Look up just halfway for one breath. And on your exhale, plant your palms flat onto the ground and step back one foot at a time into a plank pose, bringing your body into one straight line from the top of your head all the way down your body, down your legs to your heels. Hold here for a moment. Your body is strong and active here. You should feel your abdominals and your arms working to hold you up. Drop your knees onto the floor and untuck your toes, bringing the tops of your feet to the floor. Slowly lower the rest of your body all the way down onto your belly. Bring your forehead to the floor and point your elbows up towards the ceiling. Hands are right next to your ribs, flat on the ground. We will move through three low cobra arches. On an inhale, lift your head and your shoulders off the ground with your upper back muscles. On your exhale, lower your head back down onto the mat. Inhale, lift your head and your shoulders off the ground once more. The tops of your feet are on the floor behind you. Exhale, lower your head back down. Last time, inhale, lift your head and shoulders. Breathe for a moment and on your following exhale, lower your head down. Tuck your toes, press into the ground with your hands and come up to a hands and knees position. From here, straighten your legs, coming back into your downward facing dog or upside down V shape. As you hold your down dog, Keep your arms straight and palms flat on the floor. Inhale and raise your heels all the way up. Bend your knees generously looking forward. Walk your feet up to your hands at the top of your mat. Bring your hands to your shins. Look up just halfway. And exhale, forward fold, hands to the ground. Inhale, come all the way up to standing reaching your arms up and looking upwards. Exhale, release your hands all the way down next to your sides, standing up tall. Inhale once more. Rotate your arms around and raise them back up. Exhale, come back into your forward fold. Bring your hands to the floor, relax your head. Inhale, bring your hands back to your shin bones, looking up halfway. And on your exhale, plant your palms flat onto the ground next to your feet. Step back one foot at a time into your plank pose once again. 
Staying up on your hands, your body is in one straight line. From here, drop your knees down onto the floor and untuck your toes. Slowly lower your whole body onto your belly. Elbows pointing upwards, palms are flat on the floor next to your ribs. Low Cobra. Inhale, lift your head and shoulders off the ground. Exhale, lower your head back down. Inhale, once more lift your head and shoulders. Keep the tops of your feet on the floor. Exhale, lower your head down. Last time, inhale, lift your head and shoulders off the ground for your low arch. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes, come up onto your hands and knees, and then straighten your legs into a downward facing dog. Hold downward dog. Send your hips up and back on the diagonal. Pressing your heels down towards the floor. Bend your knees if you need to if your hamstrings are feeling tight today. And breathe. Raise your heels. Bend your knees. Look forward and walk your feet slowly up to your hands. Coming into your half forward fold, bring your hands to your shins. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. And on your next inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach your arms up. Exhale, release your hands down. We will now take our sun salutation B. Inhale, bend your knees, sit your hips back, and reach your arms up and forward. This is Fierce Pose, also known as Chair Pose. Sit those hips all the way back. Most of your weight should be behind you. On your exhale, leave your legs where they are and bring your torso down into your forward fold. Hands to the floor, relax your head. Hands to shins, look up halfway. And exhale. Hands back down, plant them firmly onto the floor. Step back one foot at a time into your plank. From here, lower your body just halfway as if you're doing a push-up. Holding yourself up with your arms in sort of a half push-up. And then drop your knees lightly onto the floor and come flat onto your belly. Untuck your toes. Point your elbows up towards the ceiling, palms are flat. Inhale and lift your head and your shoulders off the ground, this time lifting your whole upper body off the ground. If this is too much of a back stretch for you today, you can remain in your low cobra arch as we did earlier, shown in the top left corner of the screen. On an exhale, Lower your head and shoulders back down. Tuck your toes. Come through your hands and knees. And straighten your legs into a downward facing dog once again. Hold and breathe. Gently from here, bring your right leg forward in between your hands. If you need to lift your torso up to get it forward, that's fine. Make sure your right knee is right above your right ankle. Set your left foot down onto the mat at a 45 degree angle and align your heels with one another or step them out wider. Once your feet are settled, lift your torso and your arms reaching up, coming into Warrior 1 on the right side. Keep lunging forward into your right leg. Your left leg is straight. Exhale and bring your hands down to frame your right foot. Come back onto the ball of your left foot. Step back into downward facing dog with your right foot. Bring your left foot forward in between your hands this time. 
left knee is right above your ankle. Take your right foot, set it down onto the ground at 45 degrees, and align your heels. Inhale, lift your arms and torso up. Lunge forward into your left leg. Keep your right leg straight for warrior one on the left side. Hold here for one more moment. Exhale, bring your hands down to the floor, framing your left foot. Come back up onto the ball of your right foot and step back into downward facing dog. Hold your downward dog for three deep inhales and exhales. Inhale, raise your heels, bend your knees, look forward, and gently walk your feet up to your hands into a half forward fold, bringing your hands to your shins looking up halfway, and on an exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, bend your knees, sit your hips back, and reach your arms up and forward into your fierce pose once again. Your weight should be mostly behind you, energetically reaching your arms up on the diagonal. Inhale, come up to standing, straightening your legs. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Inhale, rotate your arms around and raise them up. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands to the floor, relax your head. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins, look up just halfway. Exhale, plant your palms flat on the floor. Step back one foot at a time into a plank pose. Hold plank and breathe deeply. And then on your following exhale, lift your hips up and back into a downward facing dog. Bring your right foot forward in between your hands. Once again, bringing your knee right above your ankle on the right side. Set your left foot down at 45 degrees, and this time align your right heel with your left arch as if you're standing on a tightrope. Once you're settled with your feet, rotate your arms around and lift your torso up. Reaching your arms out to the side, palms facing the floor. This is warrior two on the right side. Lunge forward into your right leg. You're looking over your right hand. On an exhale, circle your hands down. Bring them flat onto the floor to frame your right foot. Step back from here into another downward facing dog. Bring your left foot forward in between your hands. Knee is in line with your ankle. Set your right foot down at a 45 degree angle and align your left heel with your right arch. Press into the ground with your feet, lift up your torso, and reach your arms out to the side palms facing the floor. This is warrior two on the left. Your right leg is straight and your left leg is bent. Look over the top of your left hand. Hold here for one more moment. And then take a deep exhale. Spin your hands down onto the ground to frame your left foot. Step back into another downward facing dog. From here, bring your knees to the floor. Touch your big toes together. Keep your knees apart and relax your torso over your thighs, bringing your head to the floor. Your hips are sitting on your heels. Remain here in your child's pose and breathe. Breathe. 
reach your arms forward energetically. Lift your hips up and tuck your toes once again. Pressing into the ground, straighten your legs. Downward facing dog. Bring your right foot forward in between your hands once again. Your knee is in line with your ankle. Set your left foot down at 45 degrees and once again align your right heel with your left arch. Raise up your torso, reaching your arms out to the side for warrior two for one brief moment. Keep your feet where they are and straighten your right leg. From here, reach your torso and your right arm over your right leg until you can't reach any further. Bring your hand down to your right leg, your ankle, your shin, or your foot, and reach your left arm all the way up, looking towards your left hand. This is Trikonasana, or Triangle Pose. Keeping your legs straight, reaching up with that left hand. From here, come back through Warrior Two by bending your right leg, lifting your torso up. From there, spin your hands down to frame your right foot, and gently step back into Downward Facing Dog. We'll take that sequence on the left side by bringing your left foot forward in between your hands. Set your right foot down at 45 degrees and align your left heel with your right arch. Reach your arms out to the side, looking over your left hand for warrior two. Straighten your left leg and reach your left arm and your whole torso over to the left, over that leg, until you can't reach any further. Place your hand down on your leg wherever you can reach today, and look up towards your right hand that's reaching up to the ceiling. Trikonasana or triangle pose on the left side. Hold here and breathe. Look down to the floor, bend your left leg, and bring your torso back upright. Coming back through your warrior two on the left. Then spin your hands down to the ground and step back, downward facing dog. Hold down dog and breathe. Gently bring your knees down to the ground from here. Touch your big toes together, sit your hips onto your heels. Relax over in a child's pose. Keep your arms out in front of you and relax them. Remain here and breathe deeply. Lift your head up slightly, take your left arm and thread it underneath your right, coming to a twist in child's pose. Bringing your left temple to the floor, the top of your left hand is on the ground as well. Hold here in your twist. Come out of your twist and then come into the other side. Take your right arm and thread it underneath the left, bringing the right side of your head, the temple, to the floor. Breathe in your twist. Unwind from your twist and then slowly come all the way up to a seated position. 
come to sitting on the ground with your legs stretched out in front of you. Feet are flexed. Sitting up tall on an inhale. And then on your exhale, fold over your legs into a forward fold. Bring your hands down on your legs wherever you can reach today. Keep as much length in your spine as you can. Looking down and relax here. Come back up to a seated position. From here, bend your right leg. Bring the bottom of your foot to the ground, knee pointed up. Inhale, raise your left arm and bring your left elbow to your right knee. Bring your right arm all the way behind you. On an inhale, sit up tall. On an exhale, twist around to the right, using your arm on your leg to help you twist. Inhale and find length. Exhale, twist just a bit deeper. Remain here and continue to twist. Come out of your twist, coming back to the center. Take your right knee, drop it down to the floor, and bring the bottom of your right foot to your left inner thigh. Once again, sit up tall on an inhale, and on an exhale, fold over your left leg. Reach your hands onto your leg. Relax in your forward fold. Find length through your spine as you're folding forward, and remain here. Come all the way back up to a seated position. Bend your left knee. Bring the bottoms of your feet to meet each other and your knees out to the side. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, bring your hands to your feet and fold over. Remain here in your forward fold, or if you'd like a deeper hip stretch, you can take your elbows onto your knees and gently press them down towards the ground. If that's too intense, just remain in your forward fold. Slowly come up out of your forward bend. Straighten your right leg, flex your foot. Bend your left knee, point it up towards the ceiling. Inhale, raise your right arm. Bring your right elbow to your left knee. Your left arm behind you. Inhale, sit up taller. Exhale, twist your upper body all the way to the left. Remain here and with each inhale, lengthen your spine. With each exhale, twist a bit deeper than before. Unwind from your twist, come back to the center. Bring your left knee out to the side, the bottom of your foot to your inner thigh. Hold over your right leg, bringing your hands to your leg wherever you reach today. Relax here in this stretch. Gently come up out of your forward fold and bring your legs all the way out to the side. Flex your feet, point your toes up towards the ceiling. 
Slowly walk your hands all the way out into a forward fold with your legs out wide. Relax over, keep as much length in your spine as you can. Try not to overly round your back. And breathe here, stretching your inner thighs, your hamstrings. Keep those knees and toes pointed up towards the ceiling as you fold over. Walk your hands back in towards your hips and come up. Bring your legs in towards each other and come to lying flat on your back. Once you're on your back, bend your knees and point them up towards the ceiling. Take your right ankle and cross it over your left top thigh. Take hold behind the left leg with your hands and Gently pull your legs in towards your chest. Hold here, stretching the outer edge of your right thigh, your hamstrings, your glutes as well. Keep your feet flexed and active here. Release your hands from your legs, uncross your ankle, bring the foot down and switch sides. Taking your left ankle, crossing it over the right thigh, feet are flexed, hold on behind the right thigh under the knee, and gently pull your legs in towards your shoulders. Hold here and breathe. Release your hands from your leg, and just for a moment, hug both legs in towards your chest, holding on to your shins with your hands. Rest here for a moment. You can rock from side to side if you'd like to. Slowly from here, make your way into your final pose of the sequence, Shavasana. Stretching your legs out onto the ground, relax them completely. Have your hands down by your sides on the floor and turn your palms upwards. Close your eyes and begin to deepen your breath once again. Quiet your mind, focusing your attention on your breathing. Allow each breath that you take to relax you deeper and deeper into the ground and remain here.
gently bring some motion back into your body, moving your hands and your feet, your arms, your legs. When you feel ready, bend your legs and roll onto the right side of your body. Rest there on your right side with your arm underneath your head for support. Use your hands to assist you. Come up to a seated, cross-legged position, flexing your feet under your knees and crossing your shins. Bring your hands to your legs. Close your eyes and sit up tall. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest and bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. So how did it go? Did this help calm your mind and body? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you have any topic suggestions for future videos, comment with the hashtag AskWholesomeFacts. Don't forget to thumbs up if you found this helpful, subscribe and hit the bell icon to discover new content weekly, and share to spread the word. Meanwhile, be awesome, stay wholesome. See you next time.